Hi, I'm Justin, a technical writer for the Earth Engine team. In this segment, we'll be exploring the Earth Engine data catalog. The data catalog is a public archive of over 700 geospatial datasets made available through the Earth Engine API. Major dataset categories include imagery, climate and weather, and geophysical. Auto ingestion pipelines are continuously updating and adding new observations to the archive. Some datasets, such as GOES, Sentinel, and Landsat, are ingested in near real time while others are updated periodically as new data are made available by providers. Catalog entries and their metadata are accessible via a website. Let's take a look. Welcome to the data catalog. You can find the site URL provided in the video description, but I often simply do a web search for Earth Engine data catalog. You can also access it from the JavaScript code editor's search bar menu, selecting view data catalog. You can also get there from the Earth Engine Developer Guide pages using this Data Catalog tab. With over 700 datasets, discovery is an important function of the site. There are several ways to find data of interest. There are easy access points for broad categories of data, such as those shown here on the home page. Clicking any one of them takes you to a page of relevant datasets. There are also dedicated pages for Landsat, MODIS, and Sentinel. You can browse by tags search for keywords and phrases, or simply view all datasets using this tab or this button. Let's look more closely at these options starting with the broad categories here. Suppose you're interested in terrain datasets. Let's explore elevation. These pages are showing you the results of filtering the catalog by a tag. See that the active tab has changed from the home page to the browse by tags page. What you see here are cards representing these data sets with a title, a thumbnail, a description preview, and list of available tags. From this page, we can filter these data sets further. Let's try LiDAR, for instance. And we see that we've reduced the collection down to four from many. You can also click on tags to filter the collection. Let's try Australia. You can see a full list of tags by clicking browse by tags. And here again, we can filter by tags, which is helpful given how many there are. Let's try sea surface temperature. We see there's eight data sets. We can try evapotranspiration. We see that there's six data sets. How about forest disturbance? Hmm, nothing. Well, in this case, we could try to search for keywords and phrases. And we will search all results in the Earth Engine data catalog. And now we see that there are a number of data sets whose descriptions include the word forest and disturbance. Let's take a closer look at a data set's metadata page. Let's go to Landsat, Landsat 8, and select Surface Reflectance Tier 2. Each data set in the catalog has a page that looks similar to this, that includes a thumbnail representation, dates of availability, a provider's link, a code snippet to import the collection or image or feature into your Earth Engine script, and a list of tags. It also includes tab sections for a data set description, the bands that are available, and these names are important. Um, they're used in the script to select data in your algorithms. It also includes the image properties associated, which are important in your scripts for filtering images by metadata. At the bottom, we find an example of code 
to import and visualize each data set in the code editor. You can copy and paste this into the code editor or simply click this button, which will take you to the code editor. And if you hit run, it will evaluate the code and provide a visualization. Well, that concludes this segment on the Earth Engine Data Catalog. If you find that there's an important data set for your work that's unavailable, please let us know by filing a data request. You can find instructions in the video description. Happy coding!